Hi everybody, we're going to talk about a new product today. So we're going to talk about the Koji Suzuki Legera Loafer. Um, so Koji Suzuki is one of the bespoke shoemakers you work with. He trained in Florence and uh, then he went independent. And he's been based out of Kobe for the last 15 years, I think. Um, does a beautiful, beautiful job on bespoke shoes. And this is the first time we're actually doing ready to wear with him. Now Koji came up with these. Um, they're very different from their bespoke shoes in that they are very, 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 very soft. I mean, soft as a Belgian loafer, um, but still nice, still dressy, you know, still smart. And uh, Koji really went the extra mile to make these as comfortable as possible. So other than the softness in the sole itself, um, there's very little structure in the shoe. So there is a heel cup, there's a toe puff, but everything on the side is unstructured and soft. And then on the sole, it's, uh, sorry, on the insole, um, it's very spongy. A little hard to show you on camera, but Koji really worked on making an insole that could just be a little bit more kind of cushion-like. Very, very, very comfortable to wear. Uh, we're stocking it right now in two styles. So we have the brown grained leather with tassels, and the tassel also has that lovely detail that runs across around the back and the sides. Um, tassel and then the penny. And the penny is the very classic type of penny where even the strap is not attached which I quite like, because it also gives you a little bit more flex in the vam. Um, in terms of colors, uh, so the brown is very versatile, obviously. It works with a lot of stuff, works with the cream, works with the khakis, the olives, denim and blue. The green is a little bit more situational. So I like the green on warm colors, tone on tone colors. So like the natural cotton looks great. Taki looks great, and actually even the olive looks great. The olive chino that we do is this kind of gray, slightly washed out shade of olive, and there's enough, <coughs> excuse me, and there's enough contrast between uh, the shoe and the trouser that it still looks wonderful together. I do find the green a little bit tough when it's with jeans and with blues, so I wouldn't necessarily go in that direction with these shoes. Uh, just so you can see what they look like on the foot, I like these so much, I actually think I might have to take a pair. These, by the way, these are the Armory's uh, Dwayne loafers in white new book. Thought it'd be nice if you with this uh, seersucker suit today. You know, because they're so soft, I have like a slightly wide foot. And I like shoes that have a little bit more width around here in the forefoot. But because they're so soft, these are perfect. I just feel like they've hugged my foot and you know, when I step, there's no break-in period because the sole is so soft. Um, it is a rubberized sole as so, and you know, it's quite long lasting. I've, I've been testing a pair of these for quite a while now. I have a black pair, um, and you know, that sole goes for a long time, but eventually we need to re refurbish it. You can just take it off and put a new rubber sole on there as well. All right, so Koji Suzuki's Legera loafers, they're available in store and they will be on the online store soon-ish. And uh, that's it for now. Um, would love to hear from you guys what other styles of the Legera loafer you'd like to see. You know, I think it'd be cool also to see it in black grain. Um, and uh, in fact, Koji does a really interesting variation of black grain with a commando sole, which is kind of an interesting, interesting touch. Alrighty, hope you all have a great weekend. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.